election today should have been called by the TUC. Yeah. It should have been called a long time ago. Yes. After that fantastic demonstration in March last year, 2010, absolutely nothing was organised until last week. The lobby at Central Hall and then you had an indoor rally. And I only say that because we have to look at why we haven't stopped the bill yet, because we can't give up with, uh, next week. We have to pledge today that we are going to fight the bill in every single way that they try and attack our health service. And there is a question about how they have organised up until now, because I think it's great that Andy Burnham has said that the bill should be defeated. But I think it's wrong that the campaign, the official campaign, has been run really just as a campaign to say vote Labour. Because that is not going to defend our NHS, is it? It's not going to defend our NHS because we know that they privatised some of the health service in the past. But also, we can't wait. These attacks are happening now, aren't they? A lot of the changes are already being pushed through in our local areas. And so I think we have to look at how we've organised so far. And to be honest, it is truly fantastic. The number of protests, the amount of anger, the way we forced the professions who originally, a lot of them were supporting the bill, we forced them to oppose it. And we have to take our networks and make sure that we continue to organise in a coherent way in the health service and try and get health workers on board. Um, to be honest, the action I'd like to see is strike action. a riot. We don't need you to start one. Will you go back and deploy to your barracks? We do not want any riots here. Thank you. Just blocking the way. Thank you very much. Excellent. I think that's what needs to, needs to continue. For me, that, that model also has to sort of take into account things like the student movement, who we were kettled just up there in front of the Ministry of Defence. We need to organise from below, in the workplaces, in communities, like it, like they're doing in Camden, like they're doing in Oxford, but only, only there is the battle going to be waged. And the potential there for organisation is huge. I mean, if you, just the seething anger, the number of petitions that have been made on, made on the internet, the number of signatures on 38 degrees, the bravery of the woman who stood up to Andrew Lansley just over there, it shows you that people are ready to fight back. All we need is the organisation to do it. That doesn't rely on letting other people do it. We ourselves have to do it. All of us here, as individuals, are the agency of change. That is, that is what we've got to understand. In the past 30 years, ordinary people have been deep. They've not been able to understand their own power over, the, over their society. And that, that's what we need to reinvigorate, this belief that we actually have agency over our own lives. The work, the work since, since, since the advent of the National Health Service, the work of workers over and over again, previous generations contributing tax income to, for, for it to be one of the best healthcare services in the world. 
and yet they're still trying to make it more efficient. It isn't. We all you have to do is look over to the US to see how much of their GDP is spent on the health service. We need to make these arguments, make them very loud on demonstrations, in occupations, in every, every means necessary. My final point I'd like to make is that these NHS reforms aren't just a singular issue. They're part of a wider, wider attack on, on ordinary people by this government. We must see it as part of the wider austerity agenda, or we must fight as one. But there also, it's also testament to the fact that this government and the, previ and the previous Labour government that brought in privatisation privatization and marketisation in that they are still abiding by this dis discredited ideology of neoliberalism that we need to fight every step of the way. And so from this fight for the NHS, we need to reinvigorate a, 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 a belief in a society beyond neoliberalism, in a socialist society in which we have an NHS, we have public provision, and we have ordinary people taking power of their everyday lives. is under threat today. This is the reality of the police state and we are moving towards a police force which is not the corporations and not the people which it was originally put there to protect. Who's streets? Our streets! Who's streets? Our streets! Who's NHS? Our NHS! so I can disperse a group of people that are just right behind you okay. to prevent a further breach of the peace. What we don't breach of the peace is that? So what, what I've what yeah. said, is just bear, bear with me a moment, sir. Bear with me. Can I come through? The breach of the peace where can police I, can officers I, can I, can I, can are blocked. Once they right have right. been dispersed, yep. then what I'm going to do is basically get you released and get you on your way as quickly as possible. What I can't have is you running around and causing a highway obstruction that has <laughs> happened right from Whitehall. So bear with me, I will do that as expeditiously as I possibly can. Is there anyone who is ill or injured within <coughs> this group here that the needs to be aware? Yeah, the I was, I was saying, you're not my Who, Who's injured? Off. As you can see, the police yeah, are one actually of your blocking the right. 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 Is there anyone that is in need of immediate medical piece. attention at this time? I don't know how much. Right, is. okay, I'll get someone to have a look at them. Anyone else? How much will it cost us? <laughs> Life is, is terrible. Do we have time for pizza?